In this video, I'm going to talk about the different modes of learning that we use when teaching. How often do you stop and think about how you deliver your learning and teaching? If you're like most people, then the answer is probably not very often. However, as we're developing more digitally enabled approaches, it's useful to take a moment or two to reflect on the modes of engagement we currently use with our students and whether these are the most effective. One simple way to start this process is to ask yourself, when I teach, am I in broadcast or engagement mode? Most traditional university level teaching is predicated on the broadcast or lecture mode. This mode doesn't seem to be losing any of its power in the digital world. Lecture capture and live online lectures are increasingly commonplace. Whilst they do have their place, do you really want your students just to be listening to you as you broadcast in a traditional didactic way? When you populate your digital course spaces, do you follow that broadcast, I'm giving you everything you need to know mode without realising? If we want students to engage with learning, we need to provide them with the opportunities and skills to do just that. There's a place for broadcasting mode. I love a good lecture as much as the next person, but the most memorable lectures are the ones that are the most engaging. A few people seem to have a natural gift, a natural presence in front of an audience, both physical and digital. Most of us don't, and lecturing, just standing in front of a large group of people, or increasingly sitting in front of your computer screen at a silent digital space, is a pretty scary thing. If you want to develop and nurture more engaged modes of learning so that you aren't doing all the work, you need to engage your students in activities where they are creating content and sharing ideas. This all goes back to your overall course or programme design and asking yourself, when do I need to be in a broadcast or engaged mode? Also ask yourself, where and when do I need my students to be in broadcast or engagement mode and how can this be facilitated? If we're thinking about engagement mode, there are lots of things we can do. Firstly, think about how we use our teaching time. We don't have to be constantly on, but can provide time for students to reflect and engage with the topic and each other. Group or pair work is a good opportunity for students to test their understanding and develop their ideas collectively. Also, we don't have to say everything. It's okay to leave some things for the students to research or discover themselves. If we provide the core knowledge, then they can develop this in ways that's personal to them. For example, provided we've helped students to develop their critical research skills, we'd we can encourage them to dig into the wealth of online resources and develop their knowledge and understanding further. For example, digital quizzes can help identify existing knowledge or where consolidation or a recap is needed. Co-creating a blog can help develop professional writing skills as well as showcasing understanding. Digital media can be a means to capture data develop presentation skills, or showcase final project outputs. Pausing to think about the use of digital education gives us the opportunity to think about our learning and teaching more generally, ensuring that we're in broadcast or engaged modes as and when appropriate. 